Hello, I'm Azai. Welcome back to Suahibi. So, as you can see, I changed the title screen again off screen, off stream. Screen? Screen, yeah? Sorry. I'm just, I'm just so used to streaming that I said off stream. But yeah, it's, it's not hard to change the title screen again. You just go to start and... And then, as you can see, you can view the endings here, which is pretty nice. Surprisingly, though... Oh, there we go. I thought they didn't have the wonderful everyday ending, but they do. They also have the end sky, too, there. But yeah, this is the same day right after I... I did that, um, episode for... The end sky, the secret ending. And yeah, we're back. Oh, also, I said that I was gonna play Tatono, the next visual novel after this, but I think I'm going to play Swan Song instead. That is a visual novel that I've wanted to play for actually for years. It's one of the first visual novels that I saw, at least, you know, that I downloaded, quote unquote. But I never got around to it. I still have it on my hard drive. And while I am interested in Totono, and I do think it would probably be an amazing story, I think Swan Song feels like something that I prefer, at least with my current mood. If you guys don't know Swan Song, I'm gonna read out the. synopsis for a bit, I guess. It's basically about some natural disaster that happened during Christmas Eve. And... You know... The main characters are... The people who... Survive those... The natural disaster. And... Uh, I am excited. It's like an earthquake in Japan. But yeah, enough about that. Let's continue on knocking. Let's continue on knocking on heaven's door. It seems I still have quite a. Sorry about that. <laughs> seems I still have a bit left for knocking on heaven's door. So I took screenshots of the CG because I wanted to change the thumbnail for the YouTube videos. And it looks like I still have like 5 CGs left for this chapter. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take to get there, but... Don't worry. We'll get there. And sorry for my... Uh, for what happened with Yuki. I'm good now. But yeah. So Yuki's asking about... What are you so mad about? There we go. I mean, I can understand Tomosane's hate, um, like, uh, anger. But from a different point of view, of course. Like I said, Tomosane is angry because he doesn't want Yuki to disappear. For me, I didn't want Yuki to force her own sort of happiness to Tomosane, you know? Or to me, <laughs> really. Even after playing The End Sky, though, I don't know. It does make you, like, think about what actually is going on in the story. But I do think, uh... It doesn't really matter what goes on in the story. It's really up to your interpretation. To me, I really do just think that there is no soul residing in Saitomosane. And that Yuki right now, and, you know, Mamiya Takuji, they're all just a part of Tomosane in the end. Not something as grand as, like, every single soul is from one single soul. I ignored Yuki and walked quickly to get on the train. You, you guys don't need me to translate that. Um. Or that. This, you probably do. After coming home to my room, I ate my food and worked on the take- on the takeaway as if I was ignoring Yuki. Takeaway. I guess he's eating... 
take out? Nani okotte るんだよ。そこまで無視しなくてもいいじゃん。What are you mad at me for? You don't have to ignore me that much. Man, Yuki has a lot of screen time in this route. I mean, I guess this is a continuation of, you know, the route where she does exist. So I can understand. On the one person bed, Yuki raises her voice in frustration. The company's been ignoring me for years, so. <laughs> I mean, I'm the only one you can talk to, Yuki, along with Asaki. I'm supposed to stay away from you. Then isn't it best to just ignore you like this? I don't know why you'd do that. You're the one who said we shouldn't be together all the time. I did say that, but I told you I want you to get a proper girlfriend first. That's if you get a proper girlfriend. There you go. Whether I get a new girlfriend or not is none of your business. What do you mean it, it doesn't matter? I'm worried about you, you know. I don't need your your worry, holy shit. Calm down, Tomasanu. I mean I understand where he's why he's angry, but you know. After cooling down, I I know that at at the end she's thinking about our happiness and just appreciate her it will, I guess. Why is that? I'm on my own. I don't need anyone. Please calm down, Tomasane. What are you getting all stubborn about, man? <laughs> I like the translation. Shut up. I can't beat we. I can't be with you anywhere. If so, I'll get used to being alone while I can. As I said, it's until you get a new girlfriend. Have I told you guys how much I like um Mamiya Takuji's voice actor? Why do I have to get a new girlfriend if I like someone? Don't you dare mess with me. Someone you like. You sit there like that, unprotected, with your <laughs> panties exposed. I'm always at a loss for what to do with my eyes. <laughs> Come the fuck down, Tomasanu. But... It's weird. Isn't this supposed to be a continuation of Hill of the Sunflowers? Then why isn't... Like, what the fuck, Yuki? You know that Tomosani likes you. You guys don't need to translate Ponsu to you. Yuki's expression stopped in its tracks. Shut up, Yuki. You, we know you're not really embarrassed. And cover her face with her hands. <laughs> Shut up, Yuki. Unusually for Yuki, her face turned bright red more and more. Cover your pan- I mean, cover your bottom, not your face. <laughs> I like the translation, dude. 
ったりとか考えちゃったりしていいのかなあいやでもさすがにないよね私なんか死んでいるし<笑> Is it okay to think that you were talking about me or something? But I mean, I don't think so, since I'm dead. Then she starts laughing. So, no, 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 I do have to say this because when I was playing this game, I, I was solely focused on the story and not exactly appreciating the artwork. Well, I was appreciating the background at the beginning, right? But I have to actually appreciate the artwork that they had. Some of the CGs are actually pretty funny, especially the ones with Asaki. I failed to notice it the first time because I was so caught up in my own... In my own anger, right? Or it wasn't really anger, it's more like, um, caught up in my own thoughts that I overlook a lot of stuff that was going on. CG's with Asaki was actually pretty heartwarming. Uh... Well, I mean, do you guys protect me? What does what the that what does that mean? Um, uh, I'm trying to make like some sense into what the sentence mean. Well, I mean, you did have sex with me, I guess, but is it really okay to think that you really love me? I think that's the gist of what she said. Maybe. Maybe. I don't have to answer that. Well, that would be really great, but... But... But you don't have to say but. It's just that... It's just that. Nothing could be further from the truth. Wait, nothing could be further the Oh, sorry about that. As I was saying, I think he, he meant to say it is exactly the truth. So if you're going to be gone and gone someday, I'm just going to have to live on my own. You just need to get used to it. I, I just need to get used to it. If you understand, then shut up. Fuyukai, I think that's being annoying. I don't know. Let's translate this. It's unpleasant. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I mean, I can understand, like I said, Tomosani's outburst, and what he's doing is not exactly wrong. Yuki hides her face completely with both hands again. What the heck? I'm not going away. I can't leave you alone. I can't leave you all alone. Shut up. It's okay for me to live alone. Alone? You're not going to... Be alone, are you? You're not going to, going to do this all by yourself, are you? But I think... Do what? I think he's just wanting to be alone, right? Um, of course I am. Oh, there we go. This is what she meant. You know, cooking, cleaning the room, and paying the utility bills. There's a lot of things, you know. I've been doing that all by myself, all this time. But someday you're going to be old. You're... <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, if I'm old, you're also going to be old. You're not exactly helping, you know, Yuki. That's what we're going to have in this country from now on. 
老後もずっと一人のつもりなの But what do you mean that's gonna be that's gonna be something you have in your country? Are you going to be on your own all the time in your old age? Oh, I guess, um. I, I was under the impression that we're still talking about Yuki helping us, but instead, Tomosan is talking about, you know, having a new girlfriend and such. I don't know. I don't know what you're even talking about. But、uh, maybe I'll be my on my own forever. Alone forever? Isn't that what I said? I think she's saying about something masturbating. Oh my god. You're gonna have sex alone or masturbate, I guess? It doesn't care. It doesn't matter, does it? That kind of thing. Are you sure it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. Shut up, Yuki. I thought you didn't care about my underwear because you didn't react to me. But when you said that, I suddenly felt embarrassed. Then cover your panties. But just because you can't get your eyes around it doesn't mean you don't want to, right? Because you, you like me so much. If there's a sex scene, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm skipping it, okay? I'm not gonna translate the sex scene. That, no! <laughs> I'm skipping it for both my sake and also YouTube. <laughs> I know you don't like it because you love it. What? Man, this translation is getting all over the place. What does that mean? <laughs> Yuki is blushing all the way to her ears. <laughs> Oh, okay. So he didn't want to do it because he, he loves her. There we go. Well, I guess you can say you don't like something because you like it. Yeah, something like that. As you said, you have to be able to do everything by yourself. Wait, where's the music? Oh, there we go. From bushes to sticks, why do I have to go back there? From bushes to sticks, what the hell? I really hope there's no sex scene, dude. I heard, I hear a strange sound behind me. You know, I was actually expecting Hasaki, but she's not coming. Weird. It's like my phone is shaking with the vibrate function or something like that. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god. It's like your voice sounds different than it did before. I think I'm going to have to skip this. I'm just saying. I'm gonna read it by myself, but hell no, am I showing this, okay? Or am I translating it for you guys? But I will read it myself. So, probably see you guys in a bit. I mean, I guess I can translate this for now. What the text said before was you don't seem like yourself at all. This one is. Please, go back to the same Yuki. And then Yuki. I'll see you later, guys. Alright. 
I think we are done. Holy shit, that was the longest sex scene we've ever had so far. And the most normal one too though, like, I actually did enjoy reading it. <laughs> it was actually pretty funny. It's, um, it's like something that would happen in Kiss Exists. I don't know if you guys read the manga. But, you know, after what happened, Yuki started masturbating, right? And then she started reading Tomosane's mind. And he's like, the reason why he doesn't want to do this with her was because she like, uh, uh, he likes her, you know? Like that teenager or high school mentality where you have someone you like, you didn't want to fap to her. So, she, so he didn't want to, like, um, defile her. In a way. Something like that. And then she started talking about his browsing history. And how <laughs> he kept looking at anal. And yeah. After the masturbation, Yuki had anal sex with Tomosane. And after that, Tomosane started telling the truth to Yuki. The fact that the reason... So Yuki said, why didn't you go to me when you wanted to fap or something? And Tomosani said, "It's because um, when when I do it, when I do it myself, I I can hold on like a lot longer. And if I think about you, I I just do it in a couple of seconds. <laughs> it's something stupid like that. Okay, so after the anal sex, they had real sex. It's something stupid like that. But that was a long sex scene. I did enjoy reading it though because it." You know, it felt natural and whatnot, but that was a fucking long sex scene. Jesus. All right, let's um, let's continue on. Yuki, stretch your hand out wide. I'm still keeping the opacity in case there's some bad images still coming our way. I should um make Yuki and Tomosane voice in again though. So I muted Tomosane right, but it turns out the the voice was still on Takuji. So, it was still being voiced by Takuji's voice actor. Like, shit. Yes, we have a lot of sex, Yuki. Ah.つうかさ、やっぱり精液溜め込んでいるじゃん。お尻の中もお前子の中もすごい量出されて。well, I know I'm censoring that image, of course. I mean, come on. He's got, you got a lot of cement in you. I'm getting so much in my ass and in my pussy. I'm so... I'm so filled. Shut up, Yuki. Well, of course. With the body that Takuji... I mean, I did have Takuji inside of me after all. But yeah, they, they started talking about Takuji in the middle of it, by the way. Like, uh, they were talking about how Takuji was the one that masturbates for Tomosane before and whatnot. And that was why this is his first time actually trying to masturbate, so... Or, this is not the first time. He did it a couple of times. That's why Yuki started asking, why didn't you do it with me instead? It, it was stupid, okay? <laughs> But it was funny. It's basically an otaku's stupid sexual masturbation session. Ah, so I see, so that's how it is. Well, if we keep doing it like this, Yuki won't be able to survive, so it's fine for it. Yuki won't be able to survive? So. So it's fine for the time being, right? I don't know what you're talking about. I said I'd, I'd be happy to, to do it with you anytime. No, I'm worried about that. At the end, you said you didn't want to come anymore. I'm so confused. Are they still talking about sex, or are they talking about their, 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 you know, their selves, like being with each other? I'm so confused. So, so, 
つうか人の喘ぎ声に対してまともに答えるなよそんなのあれだよダメって言いながら感じてるのと同じだし Don't answer to people's gasps? What, do, what does that mean? That's, that's not it.、Um, it's like saying no, but feeling it. What? This,、uh, this translation is so bad right now. I'm sorry. Like, I know we were in a freaking serious scene before, and I do agree it's a serious scene, but. This scene made me lose all kinds of the serious atmosphere that I had for the last scene we had before. It's actually amazing how stupid that last scene was. Or this scene was. But isn't it hard? I don't know what, what you mean. What the hell? Don't make me say it. めちゃ感じてた顔だよ知らないのかよ苦痛の表情と快楽の表情ってほぼ区別つかないんだよ OK so they are talking about sex and also I was under the impression that this route followed after um you know the hall of flowers or hill of flowers right but no this is have I said this before? I think I said this right. I don't know, my mind's a bit jumbled, but this route is following after N Sky too, because Yuki said this is the first time she had sex with us with us. So yeah. That's not painful. That's not the face of me being pain. Didn't you know? The expression of pain and the expression of pleasure are almost indistinguishable. So you wanted to meet up or Now that you say that, they do look the same. It's not that we're alike or anything, but there's no distinction. What the fuck? Alright, there's no point in listening to your opinion anyway. So if it looks like cement is accumulating, I'll make my own judgment and put it in on my own. By my standards, as soon as I'm horny, I'll fuck you. <laughs> This translation is fucking crazy! <laughs> But it does feel like that's what she said. <laughs> What the hell? Doesn't that just mean that you just want to do it? I do want to. I want to have as much sex as I can already. Because, we, because I love you, Tomosane. I'll keep doing this for the rest of my life. The rest of your life. So, the yo? Omako, Mochiron, Okchi, Oshirinoana, Paisri, Nanda Tiatagirkara. A mimitoka, can't you toka? So, you know, a squish can't bend a kid. This is so stupid. That's right. I'll do your. I'll do it with my pussy, with my mouth, with my ass, with my peas? Peas? What, what, what do you mean, peas? My ears, my eyes, but not your ears. Why? What the fuck is wrong with you? Yuki! Holy shit, calm down! I don't like if, my, if there's some in my nose, but if I have to, I guess I don't mind. Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with you, Yuki? I think he said no one ever said I was going to I was going that far. No one asked you to do that. Well, I'm gonna keep your ejaculation under control from now on. I mean, they're always going to make me leave it. They're all. 
I'm always gonna be here to make it empty. There you go. There's a way, there's a better way to say it than use the word forever. Yes, there is. Yuki smiled broadly. I'll be by your side for the rest of my life. Even if you don't want to, I'll be here all the time. For together forever. I see. What the hell? You don't look happy. I'm happy. Of course I'm happy. I like you, Yuki. So it is nice to be with you forever. You don't mean to translate that. Yuki looks some bear. Um. Yuki got something reru. I, I guess Yuki looks embarrassed. It translates something about lighter for some reason. I guess she didn't expect me to admit it so openly. Spending time with Yuki was the happiest thing I've ever done, after all. So, it really w was nice for you to come back, back then. Thank you for coming back, Yuki. <sighs> Yuki grimaced. Really? Grimaced? Ah, uh, I'm sorry I told you to get a girlfriend. I don't know. I I guess you really don't need it. Need one. That's true. But you know what? I really don't know how much longer I can stay here. A ghost haunting a living person can only do bad things. That's what I thought. I wish Tomosane would have a decent relationship. It's a lie, I'm sorry? Oh. I guess what she said was not what I said before, but... She actually wished to have a decent relationship with Tomosane. I'm trying to convince myself. Okay, so she did say I wish Tomosane had a decent relationship with someone. Because I love you, and maybe if... If you let me be spoiled, I'll be by your side till the very end. That's an evil spirit possessing you. That's why I'm... I want you to stay with me until the end. I hold Yuki's hand. I don't need the capacity for this. It's 
stay with me until that last moment of my stay with me until the last moment of my life. Can't you understand every single time you you don't say that? What the? Didn't you understand what I say? I I think that's what he said. I think that makes a lot more sense. Well, it's not that I don't know or understand. It's just that. I want to be by your side all the time because it's just my own selfishness. No, it's my selfishness. I want you to be with me when I die, when I'm gone from this world, until that moment. They say it's until death do us part, but in our case, that's when we really get to meet. That's a very beautiful way of putting it, Tomosane. I want you to walk with me the rest of the way. I'll be by your side the whole time if you let me. I'll be there all the way to the end, all the time. Yuki squeezed my hand back tightly. I'll be there all the time, really. Yuki was also doing this when she was having sex with Tomosanu. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny when she mouthed off like that. She was talking about some... I think she was talking about skull fuck. I don't actually even know what the fuck is a skull fuck. I guess that's when you deep throat or something. The translation said it as said it as skull fuck. It's so weird. But for some reason, the translation said that Tomosani, you don't want to experience being inside of my womb. I'm like, what the fuck? That's so weird, right? What the fuck is a skull fuck? But come on, I'm annoying you. Maybe you'll grow old, but I'll always be the same. My libido is the same as it is now. Or rather, it could be even more erotic. You'll have to take care of that. You can't do this to yourself. I love you after all, and this feeling probably won't change forever and ever. That's why... I can be annoying. Maybe the older Tomosane will be really bland, is what she said. Interesting. I don't think so. I think what Yuki meant to say, or what the translation meant to say was that... Um... The, if you grow older, you might find me bland later on down the line. No matter how how old you are, you can do... You can do it against Yuki? What the heck? I don't think that's the right translation. No matter how old you are, I don't think I can ever get bored of you, Yuki. That seems like a, mu a much better translation. Though, then again, that's just what I want to hear, you know? Seriously? Is it okay if you're a hundred years old or something? Do you think I can live that long? 
If I'm protecting you, you, de you deserve to live to be a hundred years old. I think it's more like, of course you'd be like, um, of course you'd be a hundred years old if I'm the one, uh, you know, being with you. Oh shit, the translation is going haywire. I need to use Google Translate for this one. I see. So Yuki, you're my guardian spirit, huh? Well, maybe it could also be an evil spirit. Either way, I'll be by your side the whole time if you allow it, won't I? Are you sure about that? Yeah, that's exactly what I wished for. A hundred years old, huh? I want to live by your side when I'm weak. I want you to support me instead of a cane when I'm weak in the knees. And when I can't move, when I can't stand, when all I could move is my hands. Yes, that's when I'll be the one that, to hold your hand. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually a very good ending. Like, I... I... I don't know, like, um... The end of Chapter 7 for this ending, to me, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. But this does make it a lot more heartwarming. I said I like the first ending I got for Chapter 7, right? I'm, I, I don't dislike this one too, actually. I don't know. Af after seeing this, I actually feel... This is actually really heartwarming. At the end of the day... Whether Yuki is a delusion or not, isn't it the same as people when they have their their waifus? Isn't Tomosane or Mamiya Takuji or whoever this guy is technically just a representation of us otakus that have waifus and whatnot? Right? Is it like um, nasty to have a waifu? No. Is it nasty to not want to have a girlfriend? No. This is a pretty good chapter. I really do dig this chapter. Gives you a lot more perspective on what happens to their life. I still do wish that they added Hasaki, but I know this is like Yuki's chapter. Yuki deserved this ending, and... Tomosane, or Mamiya Takuji, whoever you are, man. You're my boy. Just now. I'll sit by Tomosane all the time, just snuggling up to you like air all the time. I'll make, I might use fewer words. I'll haunt you forever and ever, until that last moment. I'll listen to your last words, and I'll say them. Say what? Thank you for giving me such an outrageous happiness in this life. And in the other world, I ask you to do it again. Like... 
I don't know if I'm just a weeb for actually liking this ending. People that are not weebs are probably going to be mad at seeing this ending. I can for sure agree that objectively speaking, like, um, it's not exactly a pretty ending, right? But I actually really do like this ending. Like I said, I... I have a waifu, and Tomosane... What Yuki is to you right now is basically a waifu. You know? Walk with me. Now, from now and after, I think. After your death, I'll be sure to guide you through it this time. Until then, I wonder if Tomosane's appearance has gone back to those days. Those days? Yeah, back then. Back when I was still alive. And in those days when Tomosane and Asaki chan were around. Sawaimura, huh? I guess you're gonna look the same as you were back then. I don't know. You not like what I look like right now? There's no way that's true. To me... Or... Yeah, I think. To me, right? To me, I'm your big sister after all. Sokka. I see. When I got older, Yuki remained much younger. Someday, far away, when I'm dead... Someone who has waited a long, long time to be there. I wonder if it's good to have such a happy life. It's okay. At the end of our lives, when we're all done, we're going to say this. Our lives were enveloped in happiness, so we can keep walking down the road. What a beautiful ending. I'm sorry if I sounded, um, pissed during, you know, when Yuki wanted to ask Tomosane to have a girlfriend. I actually did feel Tomosane's own anger back then, you know? Because I was feeling the same way as he did. I don't necessarily like Yuki, but I can understand what he's feeling right then and there. And I also felt anger. Enough what I'm saying, you know. I enjoy the music. I, I like this game. This ending alone made me, like, bump the rating up quite a bit. Enjoy the music. Misa 
That was a very good version of the song. Holy shit. And with that, it's time to close a chapter in our lives. Or a part of my life, anyway. I don't know about you guys, but I do consider myself... Like, I do consider when I read these visual novels as a part of some journey, you know? Sometimes you read something good, sometimes you read something bad. But at the end of the day, I don't know, even something bad that I read, I always try to feel there must be something good from something bad I read, right? At least I hope there was. If there wasn't, I try to find one. This one, well, there were some faults with it. And I can understand when um, Waka said that I should mostly find games that I enjoy more or that I enjoy throughout. That's not how I play games. I like it when there's something I don't like. And I like it when there's something I like. I try to enjoy both stories or both parts, you know? I don't want to just enjoy something that I enjoy. Well, you can't really know what you enjoy unless you've experienced it yet, right? I like to go through a journey blind. And I don't regret it with Tsubahibi. There were some pa patient issues. That was the only thing I had with this game that I felt was not that good. 
but I do understand why they paste it as such. I just wish they cut it down a tiny bit more. The message, the story, it's beautiful. It gives you a very good message. It's a very... It's a very thought-out game. Very thought-out story. I don't think I'm gonna give this a 10. Um, in VNDB, I mean. But this is a solid 9.5 IMO. The only thing it missed for me was just the pacing. That ending alone bumped it by like a 1, in my opinion. That knocking on Heaven's Door, it gave it another bump in, in score for me. Before, I was just gonna probably put it to 8.5. But that knocking on Heaven, Heaven's Door, that ending alone was really good. I'm sorry to, to Yuki because I said really bad stuff, I guess. Well, not really bad stuff, but... I did have some un anger. I felt some anger towards her. But yeah. I hope you guys will continue to watch me, or maybe not. But the next visual novel will be Swan Song. I like to play blind visual novels, so that's also gonna be a blind visual novel playthrough. But have a nice day. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been quite the journey, and I enjoyed... Maybe not every second of it, but I enjoyed quite a lot of it. Thank you all so much.